there's some major developments in the financial crisis in Europe. An aid package coming to the rescue of Spain, specifically Spain's troubled banks, worth as much as $125 billion. Stock markets in Europe initially reacted well, but finished the day mixed. And Wall Street today down just a little bit, 33 points in the Dow. Alarm bells, though, are also ringing for banks in this country. Moody's is expected to announce this week the downgrade of 17 global banks, including some of the biggest U.S. financial firms. Joining us live, Peter Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital and author of the new book, America's Coming Bankruptcy, How to Save Yourself and Your Country. On that optimistic note, as always, Peter, nice to have you back with us. Thanks for having me on. Let's talk a little bit about the banks first. Uh, I know this has been telegraphed that potentially these downgrades could be coming. What does it mean for us? Well, first of all, I don't think the downgrades will go far enough. I think the banks are in a lot worse shape than some of these rating agencies appreciate. But we have to understand why is it that banks are in so much trouble. And the reason is because of all the government involvement in the banking sector. It's the government involvement that subsidizes all of their risk taking. The banks are in so much debt because the government has led them down this primrose path. And then we think bailouts are a solution. It's just a moral hazard. It encourages more of the same bad behavior that government policy created in the first place. So I think we really need to get the government out of the banking sector as much as possible. But I already believe that they've done so much damage that many of our major banks in this country, I believe, are going to fail in a more spectacular way than they did in 2008. As soon as the Fed loses control of interest rates and they go a lot higher, I think these big banks are going to fail and there's going to be huge losses as a result. You're not alone, but we, we should point out to our viewers that this is your opinion on the way that you're looking at the financial sector right now. Is there a timeline you have? Is, do you see these bank failures happening soon, five, ten years from now, or sooner than that? Well, I think it'll be sooner than that. I mean, right now we're buying some time based on the problems in Europe because people are so worried about the euro and the eurozone, they're taking refuge in the dollar and the treasury market and that is temporarily keeping our interest rates lower and allowing our, our government to keep on spending and Americans to keep on borrowing and spending but eventually we're not gonna be able to do that anymore people are gonna be worried about all the money we're printing all the inflation we're creating and interest rates I think are gonna move up in a very spectacular way and we are so leveraged we can't handle it not only can't the banks handle it the federal government can't handle it i mean our government can no longer more handle a five or a seven or a ten percent interest rate than can the government in greece or or italy or spain peter we just had a, i just want to point out to our viewers we're trying to get your camera back centered if we can it's always good to have our guests oh. in the middle of the screen and sometimes it happens and sometimes oh. it doesn't but peter we we're still listening to what you have to say and and there's been calls you know people on the uh, maybe sharing a different opinion uh, from you say listen the united states government has to get even more involved in europe because if we don't get more involved now and jump in uh, in, in whatever way that means, and there's a lack of specifics on that, but, then, then that's going to just crush us uh, 6, 12, Well, how can we get now? involved when we're already broke? Our government is running a budget deficit of a trillion, almost a trillion and a half dollars a year. We're drowning in debt. All we can do is print money. So, I mean, Peter, so we're printing all this money right now uh, to bridge the gap between what we collect in tax and what we spend. So are we just going to print even more money so and give it to the Europeans? Because How is that going to help? Let me just ask you real quick because I have to run. You know, you're a financial advisor. You give a lot of advice out there. Again, it's your opinion, but uh, what advice do you give to some of your customers and the average person out there on how to protect themselves? Right well, I, I outlined a chapter in my latest book, uh, the, the America's Coming Bankruptcy. You get out of anything that these central banks are printing, particularly dollars. I think you buy gold, you buy silver, you look at some of the emerging economies, buy stocks abroad, buy bonds from in, in, in better currencies than the ones that are being run off the printing presses. We have a huge financial crisis coming. It's not in our past, it's in our future. And these downgrades in the, in the banks, this is just the beginning. It's going to get a lot worse. Europe is simply a precursor of what's going to happen in the United States. That's the preview. The, show, the main show is going to be playing out here in the United States on this side of the Atlantic, and people had better be prepared for it. Peter, you give us a lot to think about today, that's for sure, on a Monday morning. Thank you again for joining us. We love having Thanks, you, and we look forward to having you back. Thank you.